Gatlin's Barbecue is a family-owned barbecue restaurant run by son Greg Gatlin, his parents, brother, and even wife. The Houston restaurant is popular for its meats and sides, and now for being featured on a new Netflix docu-series. And I'm on a journey to uncover the stories of African-American food. It's called High on the Hog, How African-American Cuisine Transformed America. The final episode of the four-part docu-series titled Freedom focuses on Texas, from the liberation of the enslaved in Galveston on Juneteenth, to how the food, staples like rice and okra that was brought to America by slaves, became an expression of freedom in itself. When you take all this American cuisine, this don't take bits and pieces of what that is. Include all of that culture into, into what, what that American cuisine is. Lucille's restaurant in the museum district was also featured in the series. Owner and chef Chris Williams says the series helps to shine a light on the genesis of most foods, American and even Mexican. So you can really taste and see West Africa in there. And, you know, people don't know that Oaxaca was home to the first free African community in all of the Americas. Black Cowboy Museum owner Larry Callis also made an appearance. He says the documentary was educational, even teaching him the difference between a sweet potato and yam. I learned something on the, on the documentary. I thought I was a pretty good historian, but I didn't know that. The Netflix docuseries was actually a book before it came to that streaming site. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. Well, you better not come back to the newsroom empty-handed. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> that looked amazing, Taisha. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for that.